Hello. We have discussed the van der Waals attractive interaction and the repulsive interaction for arising due to Pauli exclusion principle. Now we will discuss the equilibrium lattice constant. If we neglect the kinetic energy of the inert gas atoms, the cohesive energy of the inner uh, of the gas crystal is given by summing over the Leonard Jones potential that we have found earlier. If there are capital N number of atoms in the crystal, then the total potential energy from the expression for Leonard Jones potential can be found as u taught is the total potential is half n times 4 epsilon sum prime over j sigma over Pij r this quantity power 12 minus some prime over j sigma over Pij r this quantity power 6. So, what do we mean by some prime? Some prime means that I not equals J. J is running over all its possible values, but it cannot include I. I is excluded. But why are we talking about that? Are we summing over i at all? Yes, we are doing that. We are also summing over i. And if you can see that if we sum over also i, that will give us a factor of the total number of atoms. So this n comes because we have also summed over i. Sum prime in both cases exclude the uh, situation that i equals j. That is uh, excluded. Let me write that clearly. I equals J. This situation is excluded by putting this prime here. Why half? Because we have double counted each interaction. We have uh, counted the interaction twice. So we have to put a factor of half so that each interaction is counted only once. Now, let us consider an example. If we consider FCC structure, that is the structure for most of the inner gas crystals, So this is the most relevant example. We can calculate some prime over j pij power minus 12. So what is pij here? pij times r. r is the nearest neighbor distance. So this gives us the distance between two atoms. So pij is rather a scaling factor that so pij uh, power minus 12 if we sum prime over j we will get 12.13188 for fcc structure and 
if we perform the other sum, sum prime j, pij power minus 6, that is going to give us 14.453.92. So, in FCC, we have 12 nearest neighbors and the, these two series, they rapidly converge. Now, the nearest neighbors contribute the maximum of the interaction energy in the inert gas crystal, which is obvious. If we consider HCP structure, then what happens to this sum? Pij power minus 12, this sum goes to 12.13. 229 and this one pig power minus 6 that goes to 14.45489 so you can see that the numbers are not much different up to the second decimal place it's exactly the same there is no difference whatsoever and uh, only helium has HCP structure among the inert gas crystals. Everything else has FCC structure. But we can uh, express these values as the same values. There is no problem. If we do that, then we, if we consider U total as the total energy of the crystal, the equilibrium value of the distance nearest neighbor distance if we write that as r naught then we shall have du total dr at r equals r naught this will be zero because the potential has a minimum here and if we calculate in cgs unit this one from the leonard jones potential from the sum that we have found this quantity u total uh, differentiating that we will find minus twice n epsilon here we write 12 times 12.13 sigma power 12 over r power 13 minus 6 times 14.45 sigma power 6 over r power 7 which after solving for r naught so here uh, at r equals r naught these quantities will be r naught and if we now solve for r naught we will find r naught over sigma this quantity is 1.09 so after determining this can we find the cohesive energy So what is cohesive energy? The cohesive energy of the inert gas crystals uh, at absolute zero and at zero pressure when there is no external pressure is obtained by putting the value of R0 in the expression of U total that we have calculated earlier. So that means U total at R equals R0, this quantity gives us the cohesive energy which is minus 
four n epsilon and this is the expression this is same for all inert gases rather inert crystals but there is a quantum mechanical correction on top of this so let's discuss the origin of the quantum mechanical correction and this quantum mechanical correction is more pronounced for lighter atoms like helium than heavier atoms so we can understand the origin of the quantum mechanical correction by considering a simple model If we consider an atom confined by fixed boundaries and if the particle has the quantum wavelength lambda which is the de Broglie wavelength then the particle will have a kinetic energy that is p squared over twice capital M for atoms that is given as h over lambda squared over twice m what is p according to the Broglie hypothesis we know that p equals h over lambda lambda is the, the Broglie wavelength from this model the quantum zero point correction to the energy is inversely proportional to the mass so if we have heavier mass there would be less correction and if we have lighter mass we will have more quantum correction in the system